Today I'm going to show you how to use Tegul Word Clouds to create a word cloud to promote books. So the first thing you're going to do is go to the Chinook bookmarks and go down to the bottom, Tegul Word Clouds. Once you get here, if you've never created a class account, go to sign up. Your username, let's say it can be your class, so grade 3 Weimark, grade 3, however you want, or it could be you could try creating your own and then your email will be your real email address at chinooksd.ca and then make the password be chinook211 with a capital C. So chinook211 and then you click sign up. Once you sign up, then to get started, click on create. Now when your students come in, they will log in with your Chinook email and that password Chinook211 and then they'll create. So one of the things that I want you to notice is up at the top here where it says home, my clouds, and then word cloud. Um, I want your students to actually put in the name of their book. So let's say I'm going to do Pony Ella and then my initials because if there's multiple students doing multiple books, then that doesn't matter. So now we are going to import the words. We click on import words. And now that you can type in all your words here, or what would be a better option is to have your students already have a Google Doc open and have all of their words that are related to the book in that Google Doc. So you click on your documents at the bottom of your screen, it's the blue paper with the lines on it. And what they would do is open up a new Google Doc and put in all of their words for their story. So I already have mine done, so I'm just going to open up that Google Doc. And now here's all of my words for my story. Notice that I have each word on its own line, and I also have a tilde beside words that I want to keep together. So now what I would do is I would highlight all of these words. And then I would press control C to copy. So control C on my keyboard to copy all of the highlighted words. Now up at the top, I have two tabs open. I go back to the other tab, my word cloud, and then I control V to paste. So now I have all of my words in here. Let's say the students were copying from an essay they wrote, different things like that. They could remove common words, remove numbers, different things like that. So when you're ready, then you click on import words and then press visualize. And what this will do is it'll automatically show you what your little web looks like. It takes your top word and makes it the biggest automatically. And then you also have options to make everything uppercase, lowercase, or just capitalize. But every time you make those changes, you just have to click on visualize. Then the next option is going to shapes. So when I go to shapes, since this book is about a horse, I'm going to go into animals and I am going to find a horse on here. I'll choose that horse and then I can press visualize to see what it looks like now with my words as a horse. I can also now click on fonts and I can change my font. So let's say I change it to this one. Again, I have to visualize it to see what it looks like. There we go. And now I can choose layout. Right now, look, notice all my words are horizontal. If I want them to be at different angles, I can choose negative slope. I can choose any of these and then press visualize. Random will go every direction. There. So now these ones are just on a little bit of a negative slope. I could have done a positive slope. I usually choose random. 
Now, word amounts. Right now, it's on auto. So there are multiple, the words are being repeated multiple times. If you keep as is, then it will only have each word once. And then the, also this word size, there's the maximize, but then there's also use the size column from the words table. So if you have this selected, the use size column from the words table, then when you go up to the words up here, now let's say I choose to have uh, Cinderella at 15, and now I visualize it, Cinderella should be the biggest word. There it is. So if you want, you can go through and change on the words table the size of the words. But if you do that, you have to make sure that when you're on the layout, then that you have this word size to use size column from the words table. If you don't want to use that, then you can just click on maximize and it will make, it'll kind of go whatever order, but usually the words that are at the top of the list. The next thing you can do is go into colors and animation and you can change your colors, your background colors. So now your rollover text and your box color, that's when you hover over. Um, you can also have the shape more or less transparent and you can choose different words here. So use shape colors. You can turn that on or off. If you shut that off, then you can select new colors to go on here. Um, and you can delete colors. You can add randomly add colors, however you want to do it. And then once you have it how you want it, maybe you want to make certain words different colors, you can go back up here to words and you can actually choose a specific color for different words. You can also choose a specific angle or font for different words. So you can make it as specific as you want. And then the last or one of the things you'll want to do is click on save changes. And what this will do is it will save your word cloud to Tegool. So that way you can open it up again and you can do this or you can edit it. Also, you can go full screen. Another thing you can do is you can click on download and share. And so you can email this to someone. So when you click on share and email, you just type in their, their email address. You can also send yourself a copy. Um, you can also download it. So let's say you download the PNG. So I click download. Now it says that it's been downloaded. What I would wanna do now is over here, it says show in folder. It has went to the downloads on this actual Chromebook. So you would want to make sure that you move it to your own drive. So all you have to do is drag on it and drag over to my drive. And now you have it in your my drive. So here it is. So I can open it up if I want it. And now there is the picture copy. Once it's in your own drive, you can share it with people that you need to share it to or do whatever you need to do with it. Save the picture, post it on your website, however you want to deal with it. And that is basically how we do the word clouds with Tegool.